Central schools are closed this afternoon as the area recovers from an icy morning commute. Slippery roads sent drivers sliding. First responders were called out to several accidents and disabled cars around our area. Right now, the sun is out. That ice is melting, but we're still dealing with cold temperatures. Yesterday's rain and the morning's freezing temperatures made for that slippery commute for many of us. Alex Dimitrik has a look at some of the headaches caused by this morning's ice. Alex? Well, Jessica, it was not a full-blown ice storm, but it was still enough to trigger a lot of accidents. Sunday's heavy rain washed away what salt was on the roads, leaving wet pavement and sidewalks to ice over as temperatures fell below freezing. While all surfaces were vulnerable, bridges and overpasses seemed to take the hardest hits, with spin-outs and fender benders reported throughout much of Maryland. For a while, some on-ramps to the JFX were closed off by police, and as accidents multiplied, roadblocks were set up. I was going to go straight, but the police officer was right in front of me. So it was either the sidewalk or the police officer. And you know which was the best choice. That choice didn't end in an injury, but it did cause major damage to the car. There were also multiple collisions like this 13 vehicle pile up in Montgomery County. Luckily, low speeds kept drivers and passengers from getting seriously hurt. By late morning, conditions improved, along with business prospects for repair shops and auto mechanics. Well, police warned there still could be areas where water or ice is possible, like shaded roadways and gutters. Back to you. Alex, thank you. Let's get a check on the weather now. Marty's in the outback, but we start with Meg McNamara updating the current conditions. Meg. Hi, Lynn. Well, those temperatures still very cold out there. Baltimore, we're just at 31 degrees. We're barely going to get above the freezing point later on today. You can see Annapolis, you're there. 33, Rock Hall 32, Frederick 30, Western Maryland, obviously a different picture. Oakland, you are in the mid teens at this point. We also have to factor in the winds. So we do have these northwesterly winds in the wake of that cold front and blustery in certain areas. You can see Baltimore 18 miles an hour. We could see gusts, though, up to 35 miles an hour. Patuxent 23, Ocean City 22. And so this is how it's making it feel, only feeling like 19 degrees as you step outside. So so obviously uncomfortable. You want to be bundled up. And then we're also dealing with, though, the potential for this ice sticking around as temperatures are barely going to climb much more this afternoon. Marty Bass is live in the outback with a look at what that cold front did to national temperatures and what we can expect. Hi, Marty. Well, hi, Meg, and good afternoon, everybody. Believe it or not, I've actually got some pretty good news for you. I want to take a look at current national temperatures, and you can see that big slug of cold just rocketing down from the northwest to south and east. But believe it or not, the polar vortex per se, the big cold, is still well up to our north and is actually going to be staying there. You know, uh, there's, you know, average, there's unseasonally cold, and then there's a the polar vortex. We're unseasonally cold, but take a look at the forecast temperatures versus the average, which, by the way, by the end of the week will be in the mid 40s. We're on a temperature roller coaster and it ends in our favor. So, yeah, is it cold? Yeah. Am I going to run back in the warm building after I leave the outback so fast there's going to be a sonic boom? Oh, no question about it. But as far as that one degree daytime high with nighttime lows, minus zero, not in the equation. Meg McNamara talks more about this during our weather segment. And now I'm going back inside. Marty, Meg, thank you. Remember to download WJZ's weather app to keep track of our changing weather. Hourly, daily, and extended forecast plus severe weather warnings. Search WJZ Weather and get our app.